Hello everybody and welcome to this tutorial and I'm going to talk about local versus world uh, space when you simulate stuff. So if you look on the screen here you can see this one. Uh, well let's think about this. So we have the blue is forward and the red is right and then upwards is the green one right. So this is kind of the world space coordinates and then I have this gizmo here. So this gizmo is its own local world space. And then we have the particles and the particles is their own local world space inside this gizmos transform world. And so when you simulate in the VFX visual effect graph, you need to think about this. So, and also when you have particles, you have where is the particles facing? So here, you have when you just have a particle you just face it towards the camera that's the most usual stuff you do but then here you see here we have particles that facing forward with this mesh so here you can see the mesh is facing in the green direction and here the blue arrow represents the forward of the particle so it's facing in the green direction and here you see the blue is following the blue so that's nice and if you look at this one, so this one has gravity and this one is made in world uh, space. But if you do local space and if you take this local space and add gravity to the local space, well, then you have local space gravity. So the gravity is going in the green direction and not downwards. So that, that's why this looks a little bit weird. And um, yeah, and here you have simulated in world space so here you have the direction of the mesh is going good in the velocity space uh, forward direction so I'm just going to cover how you do all these kind of stuff so this is what we're going to do and let's get started so I'm just going to start in an empty scene well not super empty but <clears throat> almost empty so we have this mesh here flying around. I just have a script on it that I made to make it go around. So that's not the scope of the video. It's just a uh, helper script. But we need to make this visual effect, visual effect graph. And we're going to make a minimal system. Do create. And I'm going to name it like this. And good to know. You see, this is a little bit uh, not updating as good as I want. And that's because it's an... I have it here. It's an the script is an execute in edit mode, but even though it's not really updating so good, but just to see let it let you see it. I have my parameters here, and then I do the update function, and then I do a update the rotation. So I up the rotation here with that function, and I also save the last rotation and position the last frame. Because I use it in the rotation, we kind of decide the rotation on it. But that's not the scope of the video. But the thing is, it's a little bit jaggy, even though I have execute in edit mode. But if I add the VFX setup, now you see it's always smooth. And this is really good. Now we never need to press play to update it. And I really like to work in this way. So now we have it and it's following the gizmo or the game object like this. So we can have this one down here first to, so we see what's going on. And let's just remove this one. So the first thing we want to do, we just want to make sure that our particles is shooting forward and it's going to be forward in the, well, this one is if we do, uh, let's see, global, local. So here you see I have the arrows here on the VFX setup. So we want the arrows to put, shoot forward in the blue direction. And the way to do this, so where are we? So this is the minimal setup. The first thing we need to do is to make a constant spawn rate. So I'm going to have 24 uh, frames. Uh, 24 updates per second and then here I'm going to make sure we can have 5000 at the top if we want 
So you can actually see the particle, the particles are here in the center. Because it's uh, the position, we haven't even set the position here. But the position is uh, at zero, zero, zero. So because we're doing a local space, it's in the center of the VFX setup. So that's why we see it here. here. And I'm going to make sure that we have life. So after one second, these particles will die. <clears throat> and we want the direction. So we want the direction to go in the I direction. So we just do set velocity. And here we do, we want it in the blue. So now we see, well, it's not moving. Um, hmm. Maybe I just need to save it. It should work. Okay, I just need to update it. So I press save and it worked. So here you see the particles it is going forward and you can amp up the strength here. So it's really strong. But I'm just gonna have it uh, velocity one. Uh, strength and then I'm just gonna hit down here I'm then gonna go do set color and the color gonna be blue so this is how we do it and if we take this one here uh, we can remove this box so this is blue then we do this one and we want these particles to be upwards in the green direction so because you see here, this is the, here you see local or world, and this is world, but we're going to be in local space, and we want the locals, so we, the local upwards is this green here, so if we do here, and, and we connect it, now we see it going upwards, so let's do the color green, and here we have it, and of course, here we do the last one. So local space, we are in the local space and we change it to the green like this. Well, the red, and then we do red down here. And the last part is to just plug it in here. And now this is how it works. And uh, you see the particles are facing in a certain direction. We just want to change change it so we have orient and face camera position. So now you see the the red one is always facing the camera. Super nice. So that's what we're gonna do with the green too. So we just do here, paste, and we're gonna do it with the blue too. Nice. <clears throat> So this is how you simulate in the local space, and that's it's nice. But let's say if you would do, uh, if we take the red one here, um, if we add gravity, now you see the gravity. You actually see the line, the white white line here. The gravity is not going downwards; it's actually going to the side. So, yeah. You could actually change this one here, gravity, to be in the world. So now you have it down like this, so that's nice. But let's say in one or other reason you're working in the world space instead of the local. So I'm going to show you that how that works. So if we just take this setup here and we copy paste it here. And now we just, so this is the local, I'm going to take it off. Now we're going to work uh, here, we're going to work on the world. So I'm actually going to delete this one. So we're going to start with the green one first. So the first thing, let's take in the world space here. And now it didn't disappear, but the particles is um, here. Right, so now you see they are down here. So what's going on? Why is it down here? Well, you need to set the position. Here you set the position. Uh, even though you don't set it, the position starts at zero, zero, zero because it's in local space. But when you work in world space, you need to set 
set position. So if I do two here, now you see it's up here because it's in world space, but we want it to be on the gizmos. So we do it like this, transform, and the transform is the systems transform itself. So here you have position and bam, and now it's correct. But here you see now we are working in world space, but the gravity is in local space. So here you change that one to world space. Now you have it in world space too. So that's nice. So this is how it works. So uh, to work in world space here, you have this transform to set the position. And here you actually, here you have velocity, but you're doing the velocity from the local space. That's why we, yeah, if we, if we did like in world space, now you would actually shoot it in this direction and not in the red. So yeah, if um, it's not a big difference here because the red direction and the red direction is so similar, but you will see in, uh, let's do, when we do the green one, it's it, uh, gonna get more obvious. So we can actually add, let's do four, four here, a little bit stronger. And then we can here, we can add a drag, linear drag. So we do the drag to five, four, maybe six. So yeah. And then we just copy this one. So we copy paste. And this one going to be the up one. So it's the same thing. We just do the upwards. And here you see if we do up, but if we, so if we do, instead we do velocity from the world space now it's, it's going to go up upwards instead instead so it's really good to understand these kind of stuff and of course here we have the last one and this is going to be the forward direction so if we do um here we do it here now it works so this is uh when you work in world if we add this one and look at it it looks pretty nice super nice so this is how you think about it and i hope you understood it and i'm gonna cut it here and then in the next tutorial i'm gonna talk about uh, Instead of having particles, we're going to use mesh, so particle mesh, and make sure we do the correct directions in, uh, for them. So thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one.